Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we're looking at another installment of weird oddball items I found on eBay. So, let's get right into it. There it is. No, it's not just a tin. There's a watch in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? So, what is it? <laughs> what year was it made? And <laughs> why? <laughs> so, from what I know about this, this is a 2001 Harry Potter Quidditch watch. The battery's run out in it. It's not working right now. But I know it's from 2001 because it has this artwork on there. And this artwork here was only used in 01. I mean, you can see that image of Harry Potter right here. I mean, they use the snitch everywhere and everything. And this was only for 2001. So the tin here, nice tin. All on the inside has plastic lid that goes on top. And this would have been displayed in stores, probably like so. It's a little, it's a little dirty. It's a little sticky. I don't like that. But that's what this kind of old cheap plastic does. Is it starts to get a little sticky over time. But I'm gonna put that to the side. So this watch here doesn't work anymore. But as you can see on it, it's got. Let's see if my camera will focus. It says Quidditch across it, and it's a snitch going around the logo here. And the hands of the clock will move around like this. So I'm gonna take it off of this so you can. It's a little bit closer, but come came it came comes came on this little stand right here. It's got some gold foiling right on there to help make the Harry Potter logo stand out. But the watch right here still has its original tags on. I brought it almost brand new. I mean, it didn't have the plastic or sealing on it, but still never used. On the back it says Harry Potter. It's got a nice uh, kind of plasticky faux leather band on it. it says harry potter on the side here in a weird font like you'd think they would have put like this logo onto it like so but they didn't they just put like <laughs> harry potter i mean it kind of looks like it but like the p and the the p doesn't have like the lightning bolt on it so this is this is metal right here it's got a nice glass face so <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much the whole watch. So, what do I know about this? So, these have been popping up on eBay for a while now, and I decided to pick one up. I believe there are two watches that came out in 2001 to promote Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone here in the, the US after it came out. I mean, there was so much merchandise that came out around then. So the other watch, which I don't have, otherwise I'd show you, has a big like golden snitch in the middle of it, and whereas this one has just Quidditch lettering across the face of it. I believe they're both faux leather and everything, and I think everything else is pretty much the same about them, but I saw this. I picked this up for $25, I believe, and I... I think that it was a fair price. I mean, I've been seeing these going around eBay. People like people think that watches are worth a bunch of money, especially when they're Harry Potter ones for some reason. But I've seen these go for like forty to fifty dollars. Don't buy one of these for that much. Wait until one of them's listed for like twenty or fifteen and pick that one up. So constant vigilance always with the market. But so a lot of these. Let's talk about some of the traits of it. But a lot of these don't have the tag still on it. This is the original tag that came with it. A lot of them don't have, there's a little plastic. You can't really see it, but there's a little piece of plastic that's over this that kind of protects the back of it. A lot of those don't have that on there because when you buy a watch, you're probably gonna peel that off. So that one was left on there. And a lot of them you're going to find don't have this plastic lid because these lids break so easily, it's ridiculous. So most of them are just either the watch by itself or the tin and people didn't keep this. I think that picking this up just for the tin is cool. I mean, th this tin is awesome. It's got the lid and everything. Oh, I love it. But I keep it displayed inside of there on my shelves. And I thought this was just, you know, super interesting. So as you can see, it goes right back on there. You can have tuck the, tuck the tag right in there, stick it in like that, and put the lid right back on. 
So yeah, that's that's all for this. This is just a, a really interesting game. Not quite as weird as I'd say the Coke bottle is. I mean, this seems more realistic because it seems like pretty much every, you know, movie out there that was big has a watch to go around with it. Um, but yeah, so that's all for this video. If you all have any questions or comments about this, leave them in the towel section down below. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the video, and yeah, turn on notifications so you can see the next time I post one of these really odd Harry Potter products. So yeah, see you next time. Peace out.